Hi. So uh, this is a quandary that um, I've been in when I tell people about MBT or when they ask me what I'm doing, you know, and like on Saturday when I'm in the healing group and, and then I'm pretty much retired now. So people ask me what I'm doing. I'm, oh, I just signed up, you know, a volunteer, um, you know, uh, uh, for Tom Campbell, he wrote this book, my big, t oh, and they're like, oh, well, tell me about it. And I have no idea how to describe without telling them, hey, there's this 800 page book, go ahead, read it. And then you'll <laughs> understand what I'm involved in. So I guess my question is, how would you like me to explain it? <laughs> well, I would say, first, look at them and get a little bit of intuitive information from them about what it is they really want to know. Okay, because they don't want you to sit down and say, well, sit down, I'm going to read this 800 book to you know, that's not what they want. You know, they want some kind of short, you know, 50 words or less kind of a description that gives them some idea of what it is you're doing. Okay, so give up the idea that you're going to explain MBT. You're not going to explain MBT because you're not, you're not going to be able to do that and they're not interested in listening to that. So think, what are they really interested in? And distill out just a piece of it that says something like, uh, well, I'm, I'm working with, you know, I'm, I'm helping to uh, work with younger people to uh, make them be able to find themselves better. You know, that's, that's one of the things we're working on. It's a, and it's, well, what kind of group is that? Well, it's a group that's trying to do good things in the world and, you know, make everybody's life better. So just little things like that. Yeah, those are not accurate descriptions of MBT, but it's enough that they that, that they will take that. And the next time they ask you a question, you can tell them a little bit more. And if after the 10th question, they may actually go read the book because by then they'll be interested. So you just let one little one little blur, you know, blurb come out at a time that doesn't really describe MBT, but it kind of describes sort of where you're at with it and what you're doing with it. Because that's really what they want to know. What's what's motivating you? What's moving you this way? So that's what they that's what they want to know. Yeah. That make, makes sense. I you know like I tried once when I took your um, exploring consciousness class, and this one woman is like, "Oh, what's that about? Oh, well, you know, it's about consciousness is primary. You know, space time is secondary, and we're you know uh, consciousness is evolving <laughs> and all that." And you know, I looked at her, and she's like. Oh, I'm going to see the grandkids today. <laughs> um, you know, yeah. it's like, all right, that was the wrong approach or whatever. But yeah. Yeah, um, so. I, I just, um, yeah. like I said, it's just frustrating or whatever, because there's so many things in your theory and so many, I think, that are important to tell people yeah. about. But um, trying to do good things in the world and make it a better place, that, that's a good start. That's a good start. <laughs> Just any little thing that's positive that then they can maybe ask the next question, but let them ask the question. Just give them one little, one little tidbit per question. And uh, if they're interested, then they'll keep asking for more. That's true. Yeah. I have had people ask me a lot further questions or whatever, but it's always that first time somebody asks you the question. So yeah. Yeah. That's cool. thank you. Mm-hmm.